In this video, I'm going to be doing some early spring macro photography with the OM 90mm macro and my homemade macro diffuser. We're here at Thameside Nature Reserve and I'm by the bee bank, which has got lots of solitary bees on. I'm going to see if I can get some photos of them today. Now it's a little bit more windy today than ideal, but it's a bit more sheltered in here. There's lots of scrub and this bank itself is providing quite a lot of shelter. So hopefully I'll be able to get some shots. It's about 10 o'clock, so the bees have already warmed up quite a bit. So I'm using my standard technique of creeping closer, taking shots as I go, so I get a few banker shots in case it goes, and then just trying to get into the position I like to get the shot. And I've already got this shot of a fly. You can see I've got closer of each shot here. Not amazing shots, but I thought I'd show them anyway, to show we can all be a bit rusty after a long winter. And I've got a couple of this solitary bee. Well, you can tell things have got serious. I've taken my glasses off. I still struggle a bit with the viewfinder and glasses. Um, if you've got any tips on that, do leave them in the comments for me, please. But I have found a little ant's nest, and I'm not convinced they're the normal garden black ant. I think they're something a bit different. And I've gone down to the full two times macro to get some nice close ups. But I'm also testing out this new Godox flash I've got today. And I'm really impressed. It's got an internal battery in it, which you have to charge using the special charger, which I wasn't so keen on. But the recharge rate is really good. I've been blasting off five shots at a time at F11, and I've had no problem with it recharging in between. It's uh, really good so far. Now, I've always been pleased with the results I get from this diffuser. But in situations like this, where there's objects around the subject, it can be too big and just gets in the way. So I am working on designing another diffuser um, I've actually got the plans to get, but I've just got to make it and I'll do a whole video on that when I do. While I was crouched there, this drone fly landed and I got a couple of shots, but it flew off before I could get the head on close up, so this one's a bit of a crop. I'm using a mixture of using autofocus today and fine tuning with the manual focus and for the really small stuff I've been manual focusing down to minimum focus or near enough and then moving the camera forward towards it. Well that was a nice surprise. A bee fly has just appeared. Now I was here on Monday and the bee fly I found then was the earliest record for 2024. With a photo that is, so the earliest confirmed record. And I've just found a second one. Now I'm pretty sure it's just emerged because it's just crawling around on the bee bank. And then, I couldn't believe my luck, it crawled up one of the roots sticking out the bee bank. So I've got some lovely shots with a nice background. All the shots in this video are, unless I say otherwise, taken with a shutter speed 250th of a second. ISO 400 and aperture of f8 to f11, which are my defaults when using this flash diffuser. Well that bee fly was nice, I got some lovely shots of it, and a second one appeared, so I got some photos of that as well. I got a lovely selection, some of my best ever bee fly shots that. After crawling further up the wall, the bee fly took off, and it landed at the other end of the bee bank. It was perched on a small plant and just sat there again so I went in with the full two times magnification and got my best ever close up shots of a bee fly. Well here's a little tip for you, the sun's just gone in behind a cloud and most invertebrates require the sun to move around really to warm themselves up at least to start with and when the sun goes in sometimes they get a bit less active and you can see here I've managed to get this female sitting on the bee bank and this male bee sat on these steps. So that was quite handy. Now the top of the bank here, I just spotted some velvet mites. So I've got a couple of pictures of those. These are tiny little bright red relatives of the spiders. You might have seen them crawling around on your patio or your wall at home. They're quite common, but they're only sort of three or four millimeters long, so they're not the easiest thing to photograph. And then some went in and the activity died down. It wasn't a bad start to the proper insect macro season, not my best ever photos, but I thought it was good to show not every shot you take comes out perfect, especially when you're a bit out of practice. The bees and bee flies are just getting started, so there will be plenty more opportunities to get photos, and I'll just finish with a couple of shots I took in natural light from the visit I made a few days earlier. Thanks for watching.